families of the victims of Benghazi now reacting to the hearing that took place on Benghazi. The former acting CIA director, Mike Morrell, in his first public testimony, defending his actions in the days after that attack. Four Americans were killed that night, including our ambassador, Chris Stevens. Morrell denying allegations that he or the agency bowed to political pressure to change the White House's talking points. Here's one exchange between the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Rogers and Mike Morrell. And so with your, all of your training, all of your experience, your gut reaction, did you believe that was the right decision? Uh, so I believed what my analyst said, that there was a protest. Um, I also believed it to be a terrorist attack. Um, you see, we never, we never saw the, those two things as mutually exclusive. Um, and so I, I believed both of those at the same time. One of the Americans killed was also Sean Smith. His uncle, Michael Ingmeyer, is with me now out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Michael, thank you for coming back and talking with us today. Absolute pleasure to be with you. Uh, you you watched you. the entire hearing yesterday. What did you take away from it? Oh, well, I thought that, uh, in essence, Mr. Morrell threw the analyst under the bus, which was rather cowardly and weasel-like, but that's really to be expected. And uh, I, I wasn't... I wasn't so aware, really, until this point that the CIA was so concerned about the sensitivity of the State Department. I mean, come on. You know, the conversation got moved forward a bit, but uh, I, I'm still not very satisfied. The questions about the talking points were numerous. And at one point he said, and just to characterize and paraphrase his words, he says he took out the reference to extremists in al-Qaeda because we were dealing with protests throughout the Muslim world. As you know, that night there were protests reported in Cairo, Egypt, several hundred miles to the east. And he did not want to inflame those tensions. What did you think when you heard right. that? Right. I thought that was like basically yet another excuse, Bill. You know, and it's just like, I think really to a large degree, the promotion of the anti-Islamic video by President Obama and Hillary Clinton actually brought the, the video in greater focus and created more protest. Mm. Because before this came out, the video was barely seen. It was like a, a blip in the screen. Suggesting that it gave it more publicity and more coverage. And, exactly. And, and Without more attention. a doubt. Uh, the other thing Morrell talked about yesterday was... Um, uh, the whole idea about classified sources being revealed. And what he said was he did not, you know, the classified sources on the ground were saying that, you know, there, there was no protest. And he made that clear late in the testimony yesterday. When about three hours and 45 minutes at about the 3.30 mark, he talked about these classified sources. Because he did not want to give away sources and methods, which certainly you can understand about intelligence, you know, especially on a tender topic like this. But what did you think of that rationale? That rationale really fell short with me to a large degree, especially since his own chief of station in Tripoli was saying this was not, as of September 15th of 2012, this is not, not a protest. It was emphatic. And the problem I have with the whole concept of the talking points, blaming the video and blaming protests, is that okay that's great within a few days you know okay maybe we're misinformed maybe we need additional information but the problem I had is that for two weeks afterwards this was the litany between Susan Rice who was in essence a taxpayer paid liar Hillary Clinton and our own president who basically leaves with a, a cult of personality as opposed to uh, a, a practice of principle and a practice of real po substantive policy so, you know, that's, that's great for a couple of days after the attack, Bill, but for two weeks afterwards, no, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, can I, understand, I can understand where you're coming from here. Certainly the, the emotions are still raw for you and many others. Susan oh, Rice, yeah. I mean, uh, Susan Rice yeah. a liar? Oh, yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Come on. You know, and the whole thing about it is, you know, here we are a few months ago. What does she say? Basically, well, it's, it's sort of a false controversy. Come on. You know, I'm just really offended by these people. I think any American with any heart and mind should be offended by these people. They're delusional and amateuristic at best. Mm.
You wrote a piece at foxnews.com on Monday with the five questions you wanted answered. Now on this Thursday, we will see in time if you get those answers. Michael, thank you. We got some breaking news. My I'm, pleasure. Certain, I'm certain you.